So a few years back, ESPN made a 30 for 30 documentary on Kentucky's men's basketball coach, John Calipari, called One and Not Done. And in that documentary, there's one scene, this one shot in particular, where he's he's got a huddle uh, with his guys in there. And he, he says to them, I love you to death, but if you don't rebound, I got to take you out. And that line stuck in my head, that moment stuck in my head. And for many people, it was just a passing thought, just a one line in, in a series in the whole documentary. Um, but it stood out to me, and you got to hang with me for a second because this is kind of weird. But in a weird way, it reminded me of the love of God. So Coach Cal had these instructions, these expectations for his players to rebound the basketball. And he said, if you don't do that, I got to take you out. I still love you. And he was saying that my love for you doesn't change. Whether you follow my instructions and do what I tell you to do or not, my love for you doesn't change. But there are consequences to your actions. And so it reminded me of the love of God in that God loves us so much and that love can never change. There's nothing we can do to change the love of God for us, but he's given us instructions on how, to, on how to live a better life, on how to, to do things better, how to be better, um, not, not just because he likes rules or controlling our own life, but because he knows what's best for us, and he's trying to help us live a better life. And so he gives us these rules or commandments or regulations or whatever you want to call it uh, that we don't like to talk about. And when you break those commandments or those rules or instructions, it doesn't change God's love for you. He absolutely still loves you the same but there's gotta be consequences, but there are natural consequences. Um, Coach Cal is gonna take you out of the game because he knows that rebounding will be better for the team and you got a better chance to win. So he's gonna take you out of the game because he can't, even though he still loves you, he can't have you in that situation. And so even though God still loves you, uh, there may be negative things that happen in your life um, because of the choices that you've made. If you drink and drive and get in a car accident, that's not God punishing you because he said don't drink and drive. That is natural consequences to the result of your decision. So there's a lot of conversation these days about the love of God and his grace and um, you know what do you have to do versus what is unearned and I think that's all great and I think uh, the first most important thing that I want you to learn from this is God loves you no matter what. There's, there's no way that will change. He will always love you, regardless of whether you do or don't obey his commands, his rules, his instructions, what he's telling you to do. But the other thing that's just as important to understand is there are consequences to disobedience, to bad decisions. There are absolutely negative consequences that will affect your life. Balancing this unconditional love acceptance from God with obedience is one of the more difficult things the church is dealing with right now. Understanding that God loves you no matter what, but there are consequences to your actions. So yes, you are free to do whatever you want to do and God will still love you regardless of the decisions you make, good or bad. But that freedom doesn't free you of the consequences of those actions. So even though God still loves you, you're going to go through some stuff because there are just natural consequences to the things that God is trying to keep you from. There are definitely advantages to obeying God, and there are some serious disadvantages to not obeying Him, but that will never, ever change His love for you. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, can you do three things for me? Can you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tell your friends?